Here's something that might be useful if you are going to use 2x4 floor trusses. That would be the way to install them. Now, before I get started, let's point out that you will always need to follow the manufacturer's installation instructions. If you don't have any instructions, then maybe this video will provide you with a little bit more information. So this is just going to be on how to block the block in between the in the, the end webbing, let's say, and uh, maybe stabilize the joist. And some joists are going to come pre-made like this, where they have a little notch in it for a two by four that's going to run across it. And this is a real common design. So let's go ahead and start with this one. If you do have something like this, I would imagine you could put a couple of 16D nails into the top cord and then maybe one in here, maybe two into the bottom. And might need to toenail the bottom trusses to the plates. Now, you're probably going to have enough room. You could probably put two toenails on each side. And all the nails in my example are going to be 16Ds whether you use common nails or sinkers, green vinyl sinkers, I will leave that up to you. Um, something like this would be up to the engineer or the product manufacturer. And um, when you're at the end wall, if you're going to put a truss over a wall, you could simply nail it down um, to the wall or angle the nails in if you have to, I can understand because the webbing could be in the way. Um, another method would be to install a block on the bottom. So you would install the top rim here, the same as I just said, except you would be putting a block in here. Now these blocks might not be necessary because you're going to be nailing the truss down into the framing plates and you might have enough uh, stability. I, I don't see a lot of this where, there, where it's blocked, but I remember doing it a long time ago when uh, we installed these every once in a while. Another view of the block. Now, um, it's not uncommon to find some type of a center stabilizing board. And this would keep the trusses from moving a little bit from a side to side. Something like this would be a great benefit, um, especially on spans. If you have a span larger than 16 foot, I would imagine you would need something like this. Um, if you have a 20 footer, let's say you'd put one in the middle at 10 foot. And of course, it would attach to the webbing here, the uh, vertical, any of the vertical members. Just giving you an idea of how I would nail it. I would uh, try and nail it to the, to the webbing and then into the top cord. And whether you just used one nail on each side, that would be up to you instead of two nails as I'm looking at it here. And of course it would just run all the way down the center of the vertical webbing. So this right here ought to give you an idea how to install trusses like these and block them. But what if they aren't shaped like that? If uh, you're not going to have a joist that you can nail a 2 by 4 to the face of it, then you're going to need to put blocks in between them. And I'm just kind of giving you an idea how I would nail them to the truss joists. And again, these bottom blocks might not be necessary. You might not need these. You're going to firmly attach these to the framing plates with a couple of toenails on each side. But if you are, I'm going to give you a couple of different choices here. You can run them on the uh, side here, put them on edge. And of course, just toenail them into the joist. Um, this you can toenail them into the framing plates and then put a toenail going into the joist. Go to the other side. Let's change directions to put the blocks in flat. And this is actually why I'm making the video. Someone had a question. How in the heck do you put these in? And so hopefully it helps. Um, and if it does, you know what to do with the old thumbs up button. Always appreciated. So here's a flat block instead of a block on the edge. You could put one or two, I mean two or three nails in, in between here. I don't know if this would require you nailing it to the um, 
to the bottom cord kind of a thing you know the blocking here like I said this just might not be necessary so the flat block instead of the block on edge you could toenail them down from the top or toenail them down let's go back there got a little carried away or toenail it down here into the side I believe I showed it on the other side here you could just put a nail toenail on each side and of course you can always put two on each side and then drive one down the center like that and I'll leave that up to you and anyway that is it for the video I hope this helps I know there are a lot of I've been getting a lot of questions about these two by four trusses and um, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of product information on it. Uh, you know, I've been telling people to go read the product manufacturer's information, and I think they're having a difficult time finding any. So this one I showed you right here might or might not be approved by the product manufacturer. But if you can't find any information, the information in this video just might be enough to help you with your project. So anyway, it is off to the next video.